hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to talk about myself i wanted to talk about my manifestation journey because a lot of people have been asking and i wanted to answer some frequently asked questions i went to instagram stories and many of you had questions for me that i have seen around a lot in my youtube comments in my instagram dms everywhere so let's get into it so first off my manifestation journey started when i was eight years old i watched the secret even at eight years old i was like something in this is real this is something that is going to change my life I don't know how, but this is a very pivotal moment. I forgot about it because I was eight years old. And it was only until 2016 when I started learning more about vision boards did this spark my interest up again. And I remembered that moment. In 2016, I wanted to completely change my life. So I was in my second year of uni and I really wanted to get the show on the road, you know? I really wanted to be successful. I wanted to do it as fast, as easy as possible. I was willing to try anything. And so when I saw a YouTube video talking about vision boards pop up on my YouTube, I don't remember what YouTube video it was. I was like, I'm gonna try this. And so I distinctly remember, I'm sorry, it was 2015. Wow, I've been saying 2016 to so many people so many times, but it couldn't have been because I created a vision board of me going to Melbourne and in the middle of the vision board was an illustration of a tree, like a graffiti tree. And if you guys know, Melbourne is known for graffiti art. That was 2015 because in 2016, for my 21st birthday, I went to Melbourne and I've completely forgot about the vision board. And I remember I still have this video on Snapchat. I'll put it up on the screen if I find it of me taking a video and I would put it all the way up and it was the exact same graffiti picture as the picture on my vision board and I only realized that when I looked up and I was like holy crap this is on my vision board after that moment something in me snapped it was my first paradigm shift when it comes to manifesting where I was like oh we're in business oh, I can manifest anything that I want. So the only time I would use it is to create a vision board. From 2016 to 2018, I would be using a vision board and forgetting about manifesting for the entirety of the year. And then I would see the images from my vision board appear in my life so very gradually my belief in manifesting stabilized the first really big shift and want to use manifesting more often was when i wanted to manifest my job at daily mail i was going to graduate next year it was 2017 i was about to finish my final classes and i was like i am not like hustling for a job and not getting anything out of it i was still very much in the hustling mentality in fact that's where it began and would continue to run until i want to say 2022 um more on that later i knew that vision boards worked law of attraction worked i started watching leora alexander i absolutely love her I have her amulet. I am still subscribed to her. I think she's absolutely amazing. She is the first person, not Abraham Hicks, Leo Alexander, that taught me about being in alignment, being in the vortex. And then I learned about Abraham Hicks. And then I learned about Abraham Hicks and really started resonating with her uh, further down the line, much further down the line. But anyways, I started watching Leo Alexander and I learned about 
visualizing. So I remember that Daily Mail was not my very first thing that I manifested or the very first thing that I visualized. However, it is the most memorable for me, but it is around that time towards middle 2017, late 2017, where I started dabbling with visualizing. And I would visualize losing weight. I started going to the gym. I lost a bunch of weight. I dyed my hair blonde in 2018. In 2018, I had the biggest glow up of my life. I manifested friendships. I was best friends with a girl. We were just twins. She was into manifesting a law of attraction and we kept on helping and learning. But at that time in 2017, I had only known about visualizing and law of attraction, Leor Alexandra and The Secret. When I manifested Daily Mail, where I visualized, and you can watch that video up here by the way, where I visualized a man in a suit shaking my hand and that happened within two weeks, I had no internships. My grades weren't like perfect. I had good grades, but they weren't like top, top, right? Didn't matter, no, didn't even try really and i got the job and it was so easy at that point i still wasn't consistently manifesting it was very sporadic but i did have moments of inspiration where i was like i remember it working so much i specifically remember being in the car driving to the gym with that said best friend saying I need to go back to visualizing. I always forget to do it, um, but every time I do, every time I visualize something, it comes into fruition within two weeks if I fully feel the feeling, just like Neville Goddard says. From 2018 to 2019, 2020, 2021, I was using that method. There are other things that came into play with it that I will briefly touch on, but law of attraction, visualizing, creating a vision board and I started being in the vortex that's what I wanted to dabble on a little bit um was the only thing that I knew <laughs> this is crazy so if anyone knows Roxy Talks I didn't know about the law of assumption and I don't believe she ever said that she was into the law of assumption but looking back every single thing that she said was law of assumption based she very much was saying a firm and non-stop and you will get your thing. The reason why I started watching her was because 2018, 2019, I was happy. I was working at Daily Mail. I was glowing up. I was working on my career. I didn't really need to manifest anything. I decided after my breakup, so I broke up with the guy that I'm currently with now. We had a four year break. We broke up January, 2019. 2019 was another paradigm shift for me because I was with this person for five years. He was really the love of my life and it ended. And I went to the opposite of a depressive state. I started thriving. Every day, something was new. I got super into the gym. I became hyper independent. I started meeting all of these new people. My work ethic went through the roof. I decided I want to move to New York. I became the smallest, the skinniest I've ever been. I've had the best glow up ever. And through all of that, I started learning more and more about the vortex being in alignment following my happiness because I realized not that I consciously knew it or was aware of it at that time I was in alignment I was in the vortex because everything was falling in my lap I was really high vibe because I was having coffee non-stop I would go to the gym I would go on hikes with my friends I'd listen to hip-hop and all of those things made me into such a good mood it was only until March 2019 that I fully decided I wanted to go all in and move to New York I knew that that couldn't happen in 2019 because I wanted to travel to New Zealand traveling is a very big thing for me it is my priority and I wanted to go to Europe uh, in September so I was just gonna like practically prepare mentally prepare because even up until then I was what 23 
I was living with my parents because in Australia that's very common, especially ethnic families. I'm Russian. I wasn't really manifesting. I was purely just in alignment and I was getting so many things. I was living my best life in 2019. I was unconsciously manifesting the best opportunities. That's why I always harp about being in alignment and not even having to consciously manifest because you can literally just do whatever you want follow your highest highest good and things will come out of nowhere and you will have to literally beat your opportunities with a stick because everything will be coming at you without you even having to work for it like meaning consciously manifest right so okay the end of 2019 was when i officially learned about the law of assumption unofficially because i did not know the name of the law of assumption i thought i was still listening to law of attraction content because roxy talks always said that she was a law of attraction channel but looking back and becoming an expert on the law of assumption her core principle especially if you go to her very first videos not the videos right now i haven't watched her in years if you go to 2019 2020 roxy talks she would be saying non-stop every single day she would talk about affirming non-stop until your subconscious mind is impressed she would talk about neville goddard and before understanding the law of assumption and that name and all of the youtubers that came after that period i did not know who neville goddard was but when i started learning more about the law of assumption i was like oh roxy talks talked about neville goddard okay so i started using her principles i was already without knowing it transitioning from the law of attraction to the law of assumption by roxy talks and also every other thing that i have learned up until that point and it was a lot of stuff um i'm just brushing over it i manifested moving to new york 2021 i was living my best new york life i was barely manifesting really i would listen to tapes here and there i would like manifest here and there i would step into the stay concept I would quantum leap. Roxy had taught me about quantum leaping. I had the best life in 2021 until 2022 when I realized I needed more. The beginning of 2022 rolls around and I had learned so much, not just about manifesting, but especially 2021 about life because I was out. I was living by myself. This was my first real taste of independence without family. I would be partying. I would be going out, socializing, building my career, building relationships, contacts with work. It was very much 3D reality. I traveled to Miami and I traveled to Bahamas. I manifested amazing friendships. All of that to say the pivotal moment happened for me when the law of assumption started to happen beginning of 2022 when i was like this isn't life i want more i thought that i wanted this and i did and i experienced it fully in the 3d just how we were meant to i fully lived out that manifestation and i thought in my mind that that's what i wanted to do live in new york thrive in new york i started realizing i want more in 2020 to. I didn't know what, I didn't know how. I started learning about law of assumption. This is early 2022. So I started officially learning about what we all know to be law of assumption now with all of the rules, all of the affirmations in 2022. I manifested a lot of things, even in 2021, because I actually manifested deputy head of video in 2021. But then I realized that was not it was not doing it for me. It was not enough. I needed and I wanted more. And so not only did I learn more about the law of assumption in 2022, I started learning that I'm worthy of happiness. There's no means to an end. I started learning about what it feels like to really have freedom. And I realized that where I was at that point was not doing it for me. But it wasn't like a sharp realization. It was a gradual realization throughout the entire 2022. 2022 was the most important year because I locked myself in my Manhattan apartment from January to December. I went to Tulum, Mexico in August, but that entire time 
I locked myself in. I watched YouTube videos about the law of assumption. I would practice it on myself. One week I would do this manifestation routine. The next week I would do another manifestation routine. The next week I would do another manifestation routine. And I saw what worked for me. And I would flip flop between law of assumption, the vortex, Abraham Hicks teachings, and I started learning more about Abraham Hicks and really getting into her like end of 2021. And I started seeing a lot of results with that too. And there came a point in 2022 where nothing else interested me but manifestation. I could not, I would not, I isolated myself. I didn't want to be friends with anyone that I knew anymore. I was just so hyper-focused on my manifestations and my goals and that paid off because in 2023 at the very beginning of the year my video blew up I got into that same relationship I'm sorry it was not the same relationship with the same person complete different relationship worships the ground that I walk on is just absolutely perfect amazing Mwah. chef's kiss i became more fulfilled i became financially free i i traveled europe last year and i started mixing living real life again with manifesting i was so addicted to manifesting in the best way possible because it got me all my manifestation to the point where now i'm like I know how to do this while also living my life to the fullest and coming back into the real world and living my manifestations. That is really it. But the most pivotal moment where I learned everything was 2022. I was already posting. If you can see my videos with my blonde hair, I was already posting Law of Assumption content. But you could see where my head was at because I was also talking about self-development. I was going to the gym a lot. I was doing a whole bunch of other things on YouTube to the point where at the end of 2022, I was like, I literally can't talk about anything else but manifestation even if I tried because it is my like it's the only thing that interests me right now I remember when I got with Stan and it was kind of like a pivotal moment as well where he was like this was literally a week before it blew up he was like so um are you gonna continue doing just like law of assumption content or are you gonna branch out to other things like what are you doing with youtube he's always been my number one supporter always helping me always giving me advice and i was like this came purely from my heart and i was like following like abraham hicks and the vortex where i was like no like there is nothing else i I want to talk about there's nothing I can talk about in my heart all I want to talk about every single day was law of assumption so that's exactly what I did I blew up gained financial freedom I have a business now I earn more than I ever thought that I could uh, in 2023 and in 2024 because my earnings every month keep going up and just everything is like getting 10 times better every single day. I'm still practicing everything that I talk about and I'm still having fun with the techniques. I'm still doing the same thing that you guys are doing, right? So yeah, that's my story, but let's jump into the questions. What's your new manifesting routine? Right now, and it changes a lot, it has been stabilizing because I'm learning more about myself. This is the thing. Quick side note. I don't just listen to someone and blindly follow them. Whatever resonates with me, I will add into my manifestation routine and use in a mentality of I'm living my best life, not let me see if this works two different things i've been trying so many things for literally two years to the point where i have now stabilized my routine and i know exactly what works for me if you want to see little micro changes or you know sometimes i stop my routine completely or i talk about just my ideas and revelations and paradigm shifts that i've had for that day because when you ascend and when you learn more and more about this you keep having more and more 
realizations about life you get a lot of that anyway so i talk about that daily on my ig subscriptions if you want to join that that information will be in the description box down below i literally post like 10 minutes a day videos of me talking about law of assumption so anyways this is the routine i wake up in the morning i start robotically affirming i have a million subscribers i'm earning a thousand dollars a day i do that non-stop as much as i possibly can go throughout my day normally by also following my happiness when i am doing anything mindless I'm robotically affirming. Whenever I feel like it, I'm robotically affirming. If I think, oh, something about my life is kind of boring, I say every second of my life is magical. Whenever I have a doubt, I say like a list of robotic affirmations that I have. And then I do sats in the evening. I robotically affirm I have a million subscribers until I fall asleep. And if I am not tired, I will visualize that a million subscriber as an image while i'm repeating that i haven't actually talked about that on my main channel yet i want to heavily emphasize that i need to follow my happiness on a moment to moment basis that leads me to everything and then i follow my inspired action as well but in terms of physical techniques it's robotic affirming all day and then sats in the evening that's it i don't want to complicate anything and i found from my experience from where i'm at in life right now from like how busy i am plus just my personality in general robotic affirmations and sats does wonders what is your astrological big three i am a libra sun scorpio moon virgo rising can you tell us more about your professional life i mean do you work apart from youtube youtube is my life YouTube is my biggest revenue stream. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have members only, so a subscription-based service. I have merch, and I also have Instagram subscriptions. I have created a course. I will be coming out with that said course in about a month or six weeks. So I have multiple sources of income all leading to mindset. Top five bad bitch songs. Did it on them by Nicki Minaj. That's it. That is the pink print. It is the blueprint of all bad bitch songs. Where is your next destination? I'm going to Italy with my mom in May 2024. I am flying her out because she has wanted to go to Italy her entire life favorite trip so far my favorite trip so far has got to be positano italy for my 28th birthday september 2023 something about that place is just so magical it's so beautiful you can't explain energy and vibes until you're there but it just feels like a fairy tale. It feels like anything is possible and it is possible. And I just felt so expansive and like so free in Positano, Italy. What is the difference between living in New York and Australia? In New York, you don't live, you work. In Australia, you live, period. Do with that information what you will. Want to know story about SP? I met SP, Stan, in year two in Russian school. There is a Saturday school for Russians in Sydney. He left in like year three and then came back in year nine. Year nine, we hit it off. We became best friends. We were best friends for three years. At 18, we got together. 18 to 23, we were together five years. Broke up for four years. Realized we couldn't live without each other got back together rest is history period is being a full-time youtuber enough for all the travel and lifestyle <laughs> girl it's more than enough that's all i can say on that where do you stay now i live in sydney australia how does your skin look so flawless uh try to know one <laughs> when did you have your spiritual awakening when i broke up with stan 2019 in january where else do you want to travel love you indie assumptions um my main want is to go back to italy but i'm going back to italy in may so i'm super excited about that i really want to travel to africa and the middle east i want to travel more around the states like i want to visit new orleans i want to visit texas i really want to visit southeast asia I really want to go on the Drake Passage, like to Antarctica. I want to do more Eastern European countries, stuff that no one has really heard of. I want to visit Switzerland. I've never been to Switzerland before. 
and all of the European countries that I haven't visited yet. I really want to go to Barbados. I want to go to Jamaica so bad. Dubai, of course Dubai, like as I said, Middle East. Basically the entire world. I want to travel everywhere. I am the biggest traveler. I love traveling. Are you into astrology? I used to be the biggest astrology person i loved astrology however law of assumption hit so deep that i stopped believing in, in it altogether we literally manifested astrology we manifested all of these personality traits they don't exist it is whatever you think it is and we think that libras are indecisive i'm not indecisive i thought i was indecisive because that's what everyone said a libra is they are all limitations again placed on people so no i don't believe in astrology so those are all the questions many of those questions were asked twice three times four times so i just included one of the questions for each question so i hope that that gave you more insight into my life and i hope that we became a little bit closer from that information and yeah i will see you in the next video bye everyone